Pocheare Tour de Eiffel. The Auslander. It's Valentine's Day weekend and we are in Paris. Hmm. Before going to the Eiffel Tower, we decided to do some sightseeing first. This is the Seine River, which runs through Paris. We also got some uh, crepes. My crepe was the best crepe, the ham and cheese crepe. Ooh la la. We're heading towards Notre Dame Cathedral de Paris. There was a fire a while back, so it was under heavy construction. You could hear the sirens in the background. There's a huge police presence. I'm not sure what was going on. You can hear the wind. It was super gusty today. Okay, so from here, it was about an hour walk to the Eiffel Tower. So we decided to catch a bus. One memory I'm gonna have of Europe is riding public transportation. Once you can figure it out, it's a effective way of traveling, especially through these big cities. Okay, there it is, looming, the Eiffel Tower. What better way to spend your Valentine's Day weekend in the most romantic city in the world, near the most iconic structure in the most romantic city in the world? Even cherry blossoms were blooming. Well, one tree. They bloom about late March, so we're a little early. It's off season right now in Europe, so the place isn't too busy. Um, and the surrounding area is huge, so you're going to have your, your moments of privacy. Seizing on the opportunity, we decided to go up. We had to wait in this line. It looked long, but maybe 20 minutes. And there it is. The Eiffel Tower, right underneath it. Super cool experience. I gotta go farther. Jared's a little scared of heights, so him and Michelle stayed at the bottom while Malia and I took the ascensor up to the top. The view is fantastic. You can see all of Paris at night. You can see those red uh, red dots. That's all the traffic. And uh, believe me, if you uh, whew, if you drive in Paris, good luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So the cost of going up to the Eiffel Tower is about 25 euros for adults and 14 for a, a child. So a family of four will probably run you about 80, 80 euros. Um, you can also choose to just go to the second floor, but what's the sense in that? From France. This is the best bus stop in the world. <laughs> Look at the Eiffel Tower's in the back. <laughs> We were a little giddy there, didn't realize the Eiffel Tower was in the background. We had a great time in Paris. Uh, if you come to Europe, it is a must do to visit this city. Uh, I know I'm stating the obvious, but just like Amsterdam, this city offers you a unique and memorable experience. And as the French say, au revoir. <laughs>